Yo, what's going on everyone? Brian here, Revenue Pro Tips. Welcome back to this week's Quick Tip Tuesday video of the weekend. As you can see, I'm not where I normally am in the studio um, at home, but that's all right, because I still got a tip for you anyways. And today's tip, guys, is to not try to manage time. Now, I know you're like, what do you mean? Look, here's the thing. What I wanted to do is to help you shift your perspective, okay? So, I hear a lot of people, um, whether that's in person, um, have asked me or I've been to a lot of conferences, uh, you see a lot of videos, things of that nature, um, where there are people who are looking to improve um, what they think is time management, okay? But I want to tell you, you cannot do such a thing. There's no such thing as time management. You have nothing to do with time. You cannot stop, you cannot slow it down, you cannot speed it up. OK, um, the only thing that you can do, and this is what I want to help you shift your uh, your perspective to is managing your uh, managing the things you do. OK, so your activity, you want to go from trying to manage time, which really does not exist. You can't do that to managing your activities. That's the only thing you have control over. And therefore, that's where you want to spend your focus. Now, you say, well, how do I manage my activities? One thing I would suggest you all do is to get a planner. I've had, um, I made a video at the beginning of the year, my favorite planner, right? Phenomenal planner, absolutely amazing. Um, and it's based on the law of attraction, but just an overall awesome daily planner, right? Where you can really break down um, the day, okay? Um, you can set goals for yourself, right? Because, you know, if you don't have goals anyways, then what's the point of managing your activity? Usually people are trying to manage their time and trying to manage their activities, um, because they have certain goals, aspirations they're trying to do within a certain period of time. Therefore, they need to be more conscious of the activities that they're partaking in or not partaking in that they should be partaking in, okay? Um, so what you want to do is start managing your activities. You want to, and, and here's the thing, like I said, the first thing you want to do is get a planner. Once you have that planner, you want to uh, be pretty thorough in how you write out your, how you're going to spend um, your time in terms of activities, right? So you know, a lot of people confuse being uh, busy with production, right? You can be busy sitting on the couch watch, watching TV, okay? That is not productive. That is not a productive activity. I don't care what you really aspire to do in life. Um, that is probably something that is not going to benefit you, okay? But here's the thing. you So you want to write out your plans based, you know, yearly, overall, lifetime goals, break them down, right? With this planner, especially the one you'll see, and I'll link it again in, in this video. Um, just check it out in the link in the description below. Um, once you get that, you want to break down your day, even preferably um, half hour to maybe even break it down as far as every 15 minutes. And then at the end of each and every single day, take a look at how you spent your day, your time throughout the day, meaning the activities, okay? Was this something productive as it pertains to the goals you say you want to accomplish and achieve? All right. And once you do this, right, you will start seeing um, and being able to pinpoint the things that are productive and the things that are helping you get to get to or attain your goals, and the things that are not. And then you can start kind of cutting out those things that are not productive to your goal. All right. So, again, you know, you can be somebody saying, well, I have X goal over here, right? and you have a full-time job you have a family things of that nature right you're trying to start a part-time business but then after work you want to go have a drink with co-workers at work that is probably not the most productive things um you know um i was in, in being in the car business i want i remember hearing um about a gentleman who was for the longest time the guinness world record holder in terms of car sales and i remember seeing a video where he says he was not spending time with people who did not pay him doesn't mean he wasn't a good person and totally um, focused on money. But for instance, a lot of people at car dealerships, especially salespeople, they always want to talk to each other, hang out, smoke cigarettes outside together and stuff like that. OK, um, he was not one of them guys. He didn't even you know, I remember him saying he didn't even ask people necessarily how they're doing, because then it gives people a chance to start up a conversation. He wasn't trying to do that because talking with his fellow co-workers there um, was not paying him, was not helping him, okay? Um, he would say, hi, see you later, have a great day. That was pretty much it. And if you're trying to start a full-time business or a part-time, full-time business, something outside of your job, and if you have a family that you have to spend a lot of time with, you don't really have much leisure time to be spending with maybe coworkers, 
you know the, the time that you spend with them at work let that be enough let that be it so again guys don't manage time because you can't all you can do is manage your activity within the given time you have which is the same as i have um which is the same as warren buffett has oprah winfrey's the 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 uh gandhi's of the past you know um and all the great thought leaders and any person who will be born today tomorrow and so forth we all will have the same amount of time in every single day all right so just make the best of it by managing your activities that is it with uh today's quick tip tuesday video make sure you stay tuned make sure you're following us on all social media platforms if you have not subscribed make sure you do so by hitting the little red subscribe button uh button below in the bell notification so you you can be notified when we drop new videos guys we do this every single tuesday but we also bring you other videos throughout the week so if you not, have not checked out the revenue pro tips channel it's your first time i want to say welcome thank you for your time today and uh check out the other videos guys. we got some great stuff guys for those of you really looking to to level up your money game who enjoy money and want to use money to to maybe make improvements in your own life or the lives of others check out the channel i uh trust me you're gonna love what you see that's it this is Brian. Peace.